Hey guys, first attempt at a little video here. So I'm sure a lot of people or hams probably have the uh, MFJ, what is it, 94, sorry about the tilting, 9420, little sideband radio transceiver. Or maybe maybe they have the MFJ 9440 or any of those models, the little MFJ uh, single banded radios. So thing is, is with this needle, mine on the tuner part, mine kind of broke. So as you can see, and I know the lighting's bad this way, um, it broke. So I don't really know where I'm at. And a lot of people wish they knew where they were. Well, you can get, and I ordered these from, gosh, eBay. And there's another guy out there that has a video of them as well. But showing you how to use them a little bit. Um, I, I just wanted to show you how to hook them up because you know, I wasn't really sure either. So basically, you've got a frequency counter is what it really boils down to. And if it focuses, you can see here in the frequency counter, you've got, okay, two, two ends. Now this particular one, you can see you've got, um, I don't know if I can focus on this, a uh, plus and a minus. Look at the red and the black wire on the top here of the screen. You've got the uh, the plus, so that's a, uh, and then the negative. So that side you'll just hook up to power inside this inside your rig. It depends on where it is. Use a meter, you'll find it. Um, you can even go off the back, plug connectors in the board if you want. But I'm sure there's plenty of spots where you can find, you know, your 13.8 volts, something like that. So now, the the thing is, is how do you hook it up? Well, on the other side, you actually get two more wires, uh, ground. Uh, which is actually red in this case and a signal wire which is actually black okay so basically what I've done just in this uh, just a quick show you I've actually hooked the red one up to ground here on the rig I just stuck it in there for now now where do you put it on here well it's interesting because this is inside the radio just opened up the cover here let's see if I can zoom in here so you'll see the resistors here and what we're looking for is R46 and should be right in the middle there R46 now as you're looking at the radio I'm gonna turn it a little bit here as you're looking at the radio from the top this is a top view and you want to hook it to the left side of R46 which is right there and I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my black wire which we already know the frequency counter is zero here so let's back up a little bit uh, and I'm going to touch that onto uh, if the thing would focus R46 on the left side just like so okay and then you can see well it's hard to hold it on there but uh, 14331 uh, the one's not showing up but it doesn't really matter because you know you're on 14 megahertz and I can't hold it on there. <laughs> but anyway, that's the point. So um, anyway, I bought this, I think it was like 10 bucks, I want to say, for the actual meter. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to just put it in the top maybe. I'm not sure. I might put it in the top of the uh, rig. You know, I'll turn it off. I might put it on, uh, you know, maybe in, I don't know. I don't know if I'll actually mount it inside. Or maybe, maybe just on the top, in, inside, of course, just popping out through there, or maybe just, you know, set it up on top here. I don't know, that'd be okay too, I guess, but you don't really want to make it any bulkier than it has to be. And uh, anyway, that's just a quick video on that, because um, there might be some people out there that want to put a frequency counter in their MFJ rigs. Thanks, guys.